Uh, I want to share a little bit with you today about um, the identity crisis. I don't know about you, but um, when I was a child and growing up, I was just trying to figure out, you know, who am I? And I hear that loudly today from um, a lot of different organizations, you know, different people around you are saying, just be who you are. But who are you? Are, def are you defined by your feelings? For me, I suffered from same-sex attraction, and so eventually I just accepted the fact or decided that I was gay and that there was nothing you can do about it. Um, some people suffer from other types of feelings and identify by them. You know, there are people who identify as alcoholics, um, overeaters, um, you know, uh, sexually addicted, so people are going to sexual, uh, uh, sex anonymous meetings and things like this. But, you know, eventually God got in touch with my heart um, because I was going down a lot of roads that had a lot of dead ends to them. And finally, um, I think as a matter of prayer, because um, I know I was being prayed for, that I finally was in a, a situation of which I was contemplating God and what He really had to offer me. And I took Him up on His offer and I began to do some studying in His Word. <clears throat> Shortly after giving my life back to God, I was doing this study in 1 Corinthians 6, and I saw the list of, of everyone who will not be in heaven. You know, we get a list of, of those who will not in, enter into the kingdom. And it's, a, it's an exhaustive list. You know, it's, it's idolaters, adulterers, uh, homosexuals, you know, thieves, murderers. I mean, it includes all kinds of things. And so I didn't see myself as just being singled out as somebody who had same-sex attraction. But what I hadn't realized before was that verse 11 sits there and goes ignored many times and it says such were some of you and as soon as I read that that gave me the impression in knowing that um, that there's healing you know that the, that you could be somebody uh, that was afflicted one day and then the next that you could have the promise of being someone else now I'm not going to tell you that I don't struggle today but Jesus has, has indicated to me you know, what I can do with my temptations, what he asks me to do with my temptation, to bring them to him. And reading further in Paul's writings, uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 gave me clarity about my identity today. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, that old things are passed away, behold, all things become new. So as you think about your life and you're thinking about who you are, are you defining yourself by your feelings or are you identifying by who Jesus Christ says that you are? We have so many different um, descriptions in the Bible about who we can be in Jesus Christ, a child in the King, uh, beloved children of His, a new creature in Jesus Christ. So reach out and grab hold of the promises that He gives you and find your identity in Jesus Christ instead of what the world or what your body might be screaming at you. So just know that um, by maintaining a constant, abiding, unbroken relationship with Jesus Christ, you can truly see yourself as who you are as His son and His daughter.